we're doing a project on the Campion Trail. We kind of want to represent the type of wildlife that's here. We're going to do a hawk. A tree fell in my house and I borrowed a chainsaw from my buddy and uh, carved it down. And, uh, you know, I said, let me just try to carve something. And over time, it started evolving. And then, uh, you know, I made one, made two, and then so, so on and so on. And then, you know, this is probably my first year going all in full time. And, you know, you got to kind of see you know, if you want it facing this way, if you want it facing that way, you got to kind of vision it, you know, in the log and kind of see where your cuts are going to be. But, you know, over time you start doing so much of these that you already know in your mind, you're already four cuts ahead of where you want to be when you make your first cut. Yesterday it was about 100 degrees and I was out here soaking wet. I mean, it looked like I just jumped in the pool, you know, and I mean, I had, I didn't even feel like it was work. It's just the love of labor. By the way, this is called man glitter, in case you didn't know. Man glitter, guys, get some. <laughs> I, I grew up in Irving and uh, went to high school, went to junior high, went to elementary, and I live in Irving, so, you know, I'm Irving residents. And my thing is, is you know, I, I try to, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm just kind of doing my part to try to make Irving beautiful. We're gonna try to put carvings all up and down this new section of the Campion Trail. Maybe an armadillo, uh, an owl, squirrels. This is something kind of unique where, you know, people can say, hey, you know, have you ever been to that trail with all the carvings on it? You know, that's kind of what I want people to start saying. These trees never die, man. As long as I'm around, they're never going to die. I'll keep them alive forever.